100 miles up the tracks, Bill, Davey, and George barrel ahead with 10,000 tons of gravel bound for Anchorage. Our detector just went off, told we got a defect. We'll find out here momentarily. They should tell us what we have. I got uh, right side, axle 92. We have a defect. Same as that for Anchorage. That alert did it give you one? Hot wheel alert. Axle number 92. We're going to stop and go and inspect over. Dispatch route. Davey, let's suit up. Let's go. Bring it to a nice, easy stop. All right, it's about 20 cars back, Davey, so we'll take a look at it. All right, let's see what we got. George and Davey head out to look for the overheated wheel that set off the alarm. So here's the car. I can see that the handbrake's off. I don't know what's going on. Why don't you cross over? Any wheel that's above 580 degrees will trigger a hot wheel. So before it gets to the point where the wheel disintegrates, it stops us. This one's hot? Well, this one's 700 degrees, which is pretty substantially hot. Not a good thing. We still got to wait 10 minutes to make sure that equalizes. 407. I'd like to get a release over. And 4007 releasing. Um, everything else was released. Hot wheels are usually caused by the braking system remaining on while the train is in motion, causing too much friction to the wheels. Bill releases the entire brake system on the train, allowing George and Davey to locate the problem area. This piston is sticky, so it's not releasing. And if this don't release, then that means we got problems with this car. Oh, there it goes. It's a good thing. Fantastic. Uh, that's good news. Good job. Thank you, sir. Let's keep this train moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's keep going. 4007 is ready to continue north. Uh, sorry about the little delay there, but we'll be coming through here momentarily. Over. 